Thank you very much. I hope you all had a good short break. And I'm happy to uh, lead into the next session, which is about aerial robotics and social good solutions. So for my intro, I wanted to talk a bit more about what we already started off with the flying labs. It's We've seen that our flying labs are uh, uh, sector focused. And for us, it's important because sector focus helps us to uh, talk about demand. So the most important part when we start out with a flying lab in our flying lab uh, framework is the scoping phase. The scoping phase really is there to uh, look at the local demand. What is the local demand and how are the needs locally prioritized? So what is the most important local needs that need to be covered? And after that, for us, this is the base for us to actually say, so to cover the needs, what do we do? So it's a very basic business logic. I come from the business world and my mind functions into saying, you know, who are my customers? What are my products and services? What needs are they covering? And it's something that's very basic in the business world, but I was amazed, for example, in Nepal when we did the business incubation workshop, how this very basic fact of business knowledge is like you have demand, you have offer, uh, is not something that is possibly in engineers' minds, and it's a lot of time not something that is very, very feasible in the NGO world either, to really look at demand and look at offer. And then the last missing piece that will add to that is the technology the feasibility and to see like, okay, so how can technology cover that last part to create the impact that we want to create? Now, our kind of issue in the technology world is to get hung up on technology. For V Robotics for the last years, technology has been mostly about drones and it's exciting to fly drones. You know, you go to a country, you know the need, you kind of put the effort and the demand down, you know what you want to offer, and then you're there and you fly drones and everybody's very happy to see the drones and the kids get excited and Zanzibar and all the kids run behind the drones. So it's very simple to get hung up in technology. And this is really what happens a lot of time, you know, if technology, then you think technology is actually the thing, but it's not. But what is the thing? It's the impact. It's what it can create. So for us, being sector focused is very important because it helps us to never lose focus on our clients and on their demands. It helps us to create that local capacity that is sector focused and that can interchange. So we're building different capacity in the different flying labs that we've seen and they can multiply that knowledge by interchanging with each other. And finally, it helps us to be sector focused because we'll never lose the idea of technology is only a means, it's not the end. And we cannot lose focus of that. So two things that are very important to us is to say <coughs> technology doesn't really count. It's the result that counts. And to never lose the sight of what impact do we really want to create and what answer do we want to answer. And there's another example. While in Nepal for the business incubation program, it was very interesting to see uh, government, like Kanutam said, is quite reflective to drone technology. When you start speaking about sector solution, you start to speak about agriculture, about infrastructure, you start speaking about the different usage, then the government gets interested. And it's much easier to talk to government officials and to ministries about drone regulations when you don't speak about the technology. When you speak about the outcome, when you speak about the impact it actually can do, the jobs it can create, and it changes, it's the same discussion if you change, change it around. And that's why for us here it is important as an next panel also to have sector solutions and to talk about sector solutions. So we're going to talk about agriculture, we're going to talk about journalism, we're going to talk about nature conservation, and we're going to start out to talk about uh, the humanitarian sector. And I will let each of the four panel speakers introduce themselves. So thank you very much.